Hello everyone, welcome to Scarlet Space. My name is Ariadi. I'm creator of Scarlet Space, and you're watching tutorial series. Today we're gonna learn how to make SpaceX's timeline on their live stream into your video. So, without further ado, let's come right in. The first one is what is the timeline? So the timeline is kind of even sequence map. So it's giving a little map to audience about what event that will be occur in several minutes or second ahead. It's kind of providing information to audience what the rocket will do in the flight. So the first one is the application that you're gonna need to make this timeline. So you're gonna need at the shop and the second one is at the premiere. Let's make the timeline. Open the shop. I already made a typical timeline here and you can download it from the description below. As you can see here, I already grouped the events into the timeline. So copy, paste or duplicate all the layer like this and make a new timeline. But the first one you kind of need to do is record your gameplay. I'm recording using OBS open source, it's free apps. And after you finish with your recording, go to Adobe Premiere and import your video into the timeline. This one. On this section, we're gonna marking the event on the videos. So you need to scroll and searching for the event. I'm gonna making the Max Q event on the Falcon 9. Falcon 9 occur a Max Q usually at 12 km above the surface. So this one is, seems good. Just press M or click this icon. After done with the max Q marking, next one we're gonna marking the Miko event. So it's on this one. Alright. Main engine cut off. Press M or click this icon after that here we can see the booster is going to perform the boost back burn and put the mark on this place as you can see the distance between the mark it's our base to making the circuit timeline on photoshop so this almost in the center in the center between the lift off and Miko mark. So are you gonna do just rename it into Miko and position this into half but here it's not exactly at the center of both distance mark so gonna move it to the left a little bit all right done the next one are you gonna do just duplicate it press ctrl G on your keyboard and move it to the right and based on our mark here between Miko and Busbeck they have shorter distance between the mark so just change the distance and rename it into respect all right now you have to do this step once by one for every event on your gameplay so with a little passion you'll be able to create all of this into your video so the best practice to making the timeline is learn more and more about Adobe the Show and Premiere and you can learn it from YouTube it's free because there's so many YouTuber that sharing their knowledge at the Premiere stuff or Adobe the Show stuff on YouTube all you gotta do just 
find and try on other Photoshop and Premiere. And that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. If you find this is very useful for you, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment about your opinion on the comment section below. So, thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Peace out. Thank you.